Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 2 of Europa Universalis 4 as Malwa with the Dharma DLC. We are just about to start our first war over here against uh, Kandesh. Uh, they are allied to uh, Gujarat, who are currently at war with Bamanis, our rival. So that should make life a little bit easier for us. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into this and declare the war. Um... Sindh won't come in actually. Sindh. Oh, Gujarat is allied with Sindh. Um, we have no valid reason to attack them. That's a good point. I should maybe um, fabricate the claim first so we don't do a no CB war. There we go. Um, so if I were to declare war now, yep, no one's going to come in and help them. My, my allies will, but that is fine. So I think that is okay. Right, let's just pause up before anything untoward happens. Uh, we can invite a scholar. Uh, do we want to? You give us an extra merchant. Do I need an extra merchant? I don't think I've got anywhere to put an extra merchant, so I'm probably going to leave that for now. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is march straight in here and attack. I timed this poorly. They're going to get a reinforcement tick on that fort. I should have waited. Should have waited, but I didn't. Let's detach a siege. Move the rest of you out of there. I don't think Gujarat are going to come in and attempt to attack. They might do. I don't want to take too much attrition here. But at the same time, I really don't want to heavily micromanage the AI. Um, what I could do with this guy is I could grab one unit, move him out. Because we do have another leader... Let's go and grab... Oh, we can't even do that. We do have another leader over here who has... Um, to... No, you are the leader with Siege Pips, actually. Let's put that leader in there. Let's move you in over here. Now, you're going to go and try and move up there, aren't you? So, let's put this army together. We might be able to just go and chase that army down, which is probably the right thing to do. So, let's go ahead and try and kill his army off if we can. He's just going to go over and try and harass our vassals, so. Looks like we're going to catch you here. We should have the numbers for this one quite easily. I do like how they've actually changed the sound effect for this now. So in the early ages, you just hear like swords clashing. And the volume is very dependent on how many people are in the battle. So bigger armies make more noise. Subtle change, but I, I like it. Okay, I think that's them stack wiped. So, let's move over here. So, we want this to fall as soon as possible. Our fort has turned on. I am going to leave that on. We Actually, we're losing money. I don't think we need the fort on. Let's turn that fort off. Is there any penalty to me inviting another scholar? We lose admin power, yes. Yeah. So in that case, I'm not going to do it because there's there's really no point in us having another merchant right now. Um, we probably, if possible, want to get over here. Can we not get there? Land movement is blocked by a hostile fort. Is it really? Um, can we get open borders anywhere? Can we get open borders with you? Uh, ask for military access. If we can actually just siege out the capital on Gujarat, it'll make it easier taking this. Uh, I'm going to guess that they probably don't have a very big army around, given that they are fighting Bermanis. Is that war still going on? Yes, it is. So they have got some units around, but not many. So we're just going to try and take their capital. Our allies are, are over here sieging out as well, so that's fine. So I think that's going to be okay. It's the capital that... Well, I don't really want to take the capital, but... Taking it would certainly help. Looks like you're going to come down here. No, I thought you were going to try and take that back, actually. You might be trying to take some of your land back from um, from Bermanis, so that is fine. I really don't want to start spending points getting wall breaches and stuff. Um, looks like our, uh, our allies are in there getting some stuff done. Uh, Mawar 
is making claims. That's fine. Our ports are blockaded. Um, I guess we don't really have ports, but it counts as, as these ones because we currently have ownership of them or control of them. So they do technically count as my ports for the time being. Minus 7%. Defenders desert. There we go. Lose some ducats and gain devastation in the Gondwana area or just gain 10 devastation. We'll take the devastation because I'm really going to get short of money right now. We've got we've got to play this one uh, we've got to play this one carefully. We do have a free diplomat. Of course we are going to need a free diplomat should we want to um, end this war. And then I think we will try and integrate uh, Gaha if at all possible. Uh, what is your opinion of me? Uh, was at war. That's going to go away. Different religion. Have a core. It might be tricky to get them up as high as is needed. We could always give them a bribe. I mean, they would be the ones that we, we would like to grab. But we'll see what happens. Uh, all of a sudden, we don't have enough men over here to siege anymore. Let's go ahead and say that um, you can attach to that. Because I would like you to come over here and help with the siege, please. Because you've just sort of ran off and kind of left me at 28% for some random reason. Is someone going to come over here and, and rejoin this siege? Okay, just stay there. There we go. 42%. Now we're cooking with gas. Just allow us to get that siege. Minus 7% chance on the Gujarat capital. I see Gujarat piecing out with Bamanis really soon because they are pretty much fully occupied at this point. But us holding the capital would just give us that extra war score that we need to make grabbing all of this uh, a lot easier. Um, Delhi has announced Melwa as their new rival. Why is everybody rivaling me? Please stop. 42% chance to grab um, the Kandesh capital. We didn't get it. It's fairly standard. 21% chance to grab um, Gujarat's capital. And we didn't get it. Okay, are we going to get this one? We do. Six seats, only 64% war score. So we do really want to grab this over here. Our truce with Jampur has ended. Why did we have a truce with Jampur? Aren't we allies? Yeah, we are allied. I was going to say, why did we have a truce with them? We were allied. There we go. So that gives us 89% war score. Uh, which might not be enough to take all of this. Um, oh no, we have to, we have to sue for peace directly with um, Gujarat. Uh, I want this stuff. Are you willing to give it all to me? You are. Excellent. How much money are you willing to give me? Because I will take all that you can. Um, that's all they've got. 190. Yeah, I'll take that. Do not even care. Let's get all of you guys back home. So that now gives us another fort. So now we've got two forts either side of the capital. We'd be better off just having one fort in the capital. I'd prefer to move them if possible. Let's go ahead and start making these into cores. So that will help out slightly. We've got some decent money there. That is good. Uh, we no longer need to have um, military access through you. So let's get rid of that. So... Things with you are not great. Oh, improved relations can go up to 200, can't they, when they're a vassal? So we will be able to get you up high enough. That's fine. So we've also got this spy network on Galawar. You are still allied with Kutch. Kutch is also in a war against Gujarat. So, uh, before we decide to do anything with these guys, let, we should have basically gone to war with both of these at the same time. It would have probably been easier. Uh, let's go ahead. We've already got a claim over here, haven't we? So, we probably don't need to be, um, where are you? You're actually in Gujarat itself. Um, you don't need to be there. Let's bring you back. Uh, we do have a claim. We actually have claims on lots of stuff. So, we're going to go straight in here 
and declare a war. Kutch won't even come in. Uh, we don't want Jampor to come in. We don't really care about that. So let's just go and march straight in. A 15 stack against a 4 stack. They do have a 4. It did get a tick, unfortunately. Every time I do that, I always time it wrong. Um, wow, those guys are doing incredibly well, given the difference in the number of troops. We didn't actually manage to wipe them out, so let's go and work on that. There we go. Right. Lose the stability or lose 25 legitimacy. We'll take the legitimacy hit because we kind of need the money. Let's go over there. Detach a siege and bring the rest of the guys back. We could probably bring even... Actually, you stay there because you've got the... Um... You've got the, the siege leader. So we are, we are losing a bit of money, but I think overall we'll be fine. Now then, invest in a new technology. We can get military tech, which will give us land morale and military tactics. Let's go ahead and do that. You see, we now have this thing called uh, innovativeness. Innovativeness can be increased by um, being first to a technology, first in an idea, and ahead of time. And it's decreased by being behind your neighbours. Uh, the effectiveness of innovation at 100% is yearly army tradition decay minus 1%, navy tradition decay minus 1%, and all power costs minus 1%. So it's good. To, it, there is now a bonus for being ahead of time in technology, other than just having that technology before everybody else, which is quite a cool thing. So we've got claims on all of this now, and we probably want to start grabbing as much of it as quickly as we can. Um... You are not allied with anybody. You are a vassal of Mawa. Mawa is um, the green guys here, who I believe we do have claims on anyway. Yeah. So we can literally attack these guys right here. Um, the fact that we've actually gained some more land will have given us um, more force limit. Yeah, so we can go up to 16 now. So I'm going to go ahead. We're out of manpower, though, which is, is problematic. So we do need to recover that. Can we get any from the estates? Uh, raise additional levies. You'll lose some loyalty, but you will give us some manpower. Let's go ahead and do that. Can we get anything from you? Move towards legalism. Not really... I don't think we really need any of this. No, we'll leave that for now. Uh, disloyal estates is fine. Too many diplomatic relations will go away once we... We're still guaranteeing this guy. Um, which I guess is fine. It's only one province. But if we stop guaranteeing, somebody else will, will, will take them on. Now, as soon as we can actually get out of this war... Uh, we should then have enough um, relations to start integrating this vassal. So that should be good for us. We do have some corruption, of course. So that's costing us a bit of money as well. Prestige is going back up. Legitimacy is going back up. I would like to get another advisor, but we just cannot afford it right now. Uh, these forts got turned back on. I usually like to do this manually. I should really um, change that. Uh, we've also got this thing here now, which is a new button, which is Promote Settlement Growth. Um, so if you have a colonist, you can make that colonist um, work on promoting settlement growth in the province, giving it a 12.6 per chance every year of raising development by one point in a random category. So basically, instead of just using colonists now to colonize no man's land, you can actually use a colonist to try and raise development for free. Which is a nice little touch. Um... Any different scholars that we can hire, or is it just the same ones? Just the same one, the extra merchant, which I don't think worthwhile at this point. We'll be able to get some new tech soon, which will be useful. Uh, we just need to, to win this war. We're pretty much fully reinforced now. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this, and then we'll start thinking about attacking our way up here. The quicker we can get up there, 
um, the more land that we can get, the better. We don't want to expand too fast, of course, because you get things like aggressive expansion, and it costs you a lot of admin points in the coring. Um, remember, these uh, these provinces here are just claims. They're permanent claims, but they are not cores, so we will still have to core them. So that is going to cost us. Uh, Bermanis, let's keep improving relations with you. Because I feel that having you around is likely to reduce uh, Bermanis and Vajanagar's um, likelihood uh, to attack me. We've got 100% over here, which means we can sue for peace, take that province from you, and take all the money you have, um, which is a whole 20 ducats. Ooh. Okay, there's another province that we now have. That's another province that we also have to core. 65, that's quite a lot. You must have had a fair bit of development up there. That is a 332. Uh, also produces sp uh, dies, which is quite nice. Gain 60 military power, and Kalfi's opinion of us has changed. Or gain 2 mercantilism. It's got to be mercantilism. I mean, military power is nice, but mercantilism, man, it's just like mercantilism is just the best. Let's group you together. You're not taking attrition. We can afford to run you, so let's do some drilling while we have you there. Um, we could max you out, but I don't think we need to. So, yeah, I want to start going after these guys. Um, we can make states. So, we can make a state down here. We do control all of it. If I was to make this into a state, uh, I think that would be worth it, actually. So, let's go ahead and do that. Of course... Um, we will have to core all that. It's another 137 uh, points, but fine. So let's try and get that sorted. Of course, now we've got another... Um, oh, still in state view. We've got another fort there. That fort's not such a bad thing. Um, move towards legalism. But I think these forts I want to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of these castles here. And I'm actually going to go ahead when we can afford it and build one, uh, 197, and I'm going to build one in the capital, which is really the best place to have a fort. These two just had competing zones of control, so the AI was still going to just move straight into the into the capital. Um, got some stuff here changing hands, which is interesting. So... Can we start integrating you yet? Um, alliance sections, influence sections, annex vassal, um, 51. So we need a couple more years, which is fine because we'll be up to 190 by then. Not making enough money to get another advisor yet. Uh, countries that have not yet fully embraced the Renaissance, Renaissance uh, so institution penalties, which is fine. Uh, rebel Uprising, uh, Malwani Peasants who want lowered taxes, 18k, that is pretty significant. Um, we don't really want that, what, what can we do? We could accept their demands, we could boost stability, or harsh treatment. Reduce their progress. We'll go for the harsh treatment. We'll get that down. It'll be better once this um, missionary is finished converting here. Well, let's just try and keep the rebel factions under control. We should be able to take our next Diplo tech soon. Well, so far, relatively good. So we want to start annexing this guy as soon as we can. And, ah, um, Baglana, who we are guaranteeing, um, who we were guaranteeing, yeah, we are still guaranteeing, you are now allied with somebody else, but you actually now have a second province. Um, I think I'm going to break that guarantee. Uh, there's no downside to doing it. We will have a truce with them, but then we, we at least we won't be over the uh, diplomatic um, relations limit by doing that. Uh, we still don't have enough to buy a fort, which is fine. So that conversion is done. 
We could start working on some more. And we really should actually. Our religious unity is quite low. So we should start working on these where we can. Uh, lose Diplo power or lose prestige. I'm going to take the Diplo hit because our prestige has been in the toilet most of the game. And I would prefer it to be higher. Might have to stop drilling at some point and just reduce down the uh, maintenance on these guys. So we've got high enough relations now to start integrating uh, Gaha, which is good. But yeah, definitely would like to get that fort. Uh, corruption is due to overextension. How are we doing with the coring here? Uh, coring is under this. We're only 8% overextended. We've got one more core left to do. And we could go ahead and boost stability. Religious unity makes it m far more expensive than it needs to be. It would be nice having some positive stability, though. Is it worth just waiting until we get rid of the overextension? I mean, the overextension is only 4%. But that's 4%. That's 4% we could save. We might need to do a bit of, bit of min-maxing here. Uh, manpower is still pretty low. A lot of territory changing hands over here, so... I certainly don't think it's going to be a bad idea to get in and start doing some stuff. How is this army doing with its drilling, actually? Not quite there yet. But yeah, drilling an army up makes it much better for, um, you know, when you do get into, into a war. Makes it a much stronger army. So we are starting to grow in size. Uh, when can we start annexing you? We can start annexing you now. So let's go ahead and do that. Which means we no longer need to have someone there improving relations. So we could start improving relations with the other ones. I mean, we could try and, and vassalize somebody else if we wanted. But I think what we'll probably be doing next is declaring another war over here. But I'd, lo I'd love to get that fort underway first. We could go and take out a loan. Um, but loans are not always a good idea. Not having a fort in your capital is even uh, uh, is even a, a worse idea. It's a shame you don't get any money back. Uh, reduce local unrest. Uh, increase local trade power, but reduce local goods produced modifier. Someone's opinion that was changed by minus 50. Or increase local unrest. Um, yeah, I think we just... Um, I'd love to reduce the uh, unrest in a few places. I think that will certainly help. So, Malwa gains a claim on Central Doab, and Genpur gains a diplomatic insult to it. So, we can lose the stability, or we can gain a claim on Janpur, which which we don't want. We'll, we'll take the stability hit. That was really annoying. Um, we're just going to have to boost that up, get it back to zero. That's just the game just sort of kicking you while you're down. So let's go ahead and do this. It'll give us some more trade range. Puts us a little bit ahead of time as well. So that does give us some trade efficiency. We do now have enough money to build something. Although that's going to be a marketplace. Which would increase our trade power. Um... Especially if we built it here. But I think I want the fort first. I mean, that's worth a fair bit. But we really do need to get a fort. Yeah, game game is just not, not playing nice right now. Hate negative stability events. It's almost as bad as playing as Castile. Okay. Especially as we don't, we don't even have an admin advisor right now. So my question is, do we consider another war? Because we don't have a lot of money. 
We do want to jump on these guys while they are relatively weak. Mawar, what do you have? How big is your military? Uh, where are you? You have... Um, you have 12,000 men. My force limit is bigger than yours also. I don't know. I think I think we need to build this fort. It's going to take 30 months. But I do think it needs to be built. And we will continue in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.